Hello everyone, Ukyo Tachibana just released in game, and in this video, I will tell you everything that you need to know about him. Ukyo Tachibana is a fictional character from the video game series Samurai Showdown, which was developed by SNK. He first appeared in Samurai Showdown in 1993, and has since become a popular character in the series. Ukyo Tachibana is a skilled swordsman, and samurai who fights with a traditional Japanese sword known as a katana. He is often portrayed as a quiet and reserved character, and is known for his elegance and grace in battle. He also has a tragic backstory, as he suffers from tuberculosis, a disease that greatly affects his health and stamina. He was first released in honor of King's Chinese version, on the 29th of August 2016. If you have played Arena of Valor before, he has similar skills as Ryoma. Now let's talk about his passive and skills. His passive ability is called Ghostly Dashing Slice. When it's activated, his next basic attack turns into a sword slash that deals more damage than a regular attack and has a longer range. This attack also reduces the movement speed of the enemy by 50% for 2 seconds. If the enemy is on the edge of the attack, they will take additional damage. Ukyo can use this ability once every 5 seconds by preparing to draw his sword. Ukyo Tachibana's first skill is called Concealed Saber Swallow Swipe. This skill allows Ukyo to jump backwards and swing his sword forward, dealing physical damage to nearby enemies. The range of the skill is approximately one character unit, and the damage dealt increases with the skill level and Ukyo's physical attack power. If the first strike of the skill successfully hits an enemy, Ukyo can immediately use the same skill again for a second strike, which has the same range and effect as the first. This allows Ukyo to deal a quick burst of damage to an enemy or group of enemies. The name Concealed Saber Swallow Swipe refers to a technique in Japanese swordsmanship, where the sword is drawn quickly and then sheathed again in a single motion, much like the flight of a swallow. This skill is a nod to Ukyo's samurai roots and his mastery of the sword. Overall, the Concealed Saber Swallow Swipe skill is a versatile and powerful tool in Ukyo's arsenal, allowing him to deal significant damage to enemies while remaining mobile and evasive. Ukyo Tachibana's second skill is called Heavenly Hack. When he uses this skill, Ukyo quickly draws his sword in a designated direction, dealing physical damage to the first enemy on the path. In addition to dealing damage, the skill also stuns the enemy at the end of the path, for 0.75 seconds. This can be useful for setting up Ukyo's other attacks, ganking, or escaping from a dangerous situation. The name Heavenly Hack refers to the skill's powerful and decisive strike, which is said to be reminiscent of the power of the heavens. Overall, the Heavenly Hack skill is a potent tool in Ukyo's kit, allowing him to deal heavy damage to a single target while also temporarily stunning them. Ukyo Tachibana's ultimate skill is called Concealed Saber Snowfall Slash. When he uses this skill, Ukyo draws his sword four times in a row in a designated direction, dealing physical damage with each hit. The amount of damage dealt increases with the skill level. Each time Ukyo successfully hits an enemy hero with this skill, he also recovers a certain amount of health. The amount of health recovered also increases with the skill level and Ukyo's physical bonus, but hitting a non-hero unit only grants half the effect. Overall, his second skill is a powerful and versatile tool in Ukyo's kit, allowing him to deal heavy damage to multiple enemies while also regaining health for each hit on an enemy hero. Additionally, the skill has a short cooldown, meaning Ukyo can use it frequently in battle. Now let's talk about his gameplay. Ukyo Tachibana's skill set is designed to be used in specific situations to maximize his effectiveness on the battlefield. His first and second skills can be used together as a combo to deal heavy damage and stun the enemy. It is recommended to use the first skill to advance towards the enemy, followed by the second skill to stun them, and then follow up with the third skill for additional damage. During teamfights, Ukyo should be careful and move around the flanks to get into position before attacking. He should avoid entering the field immediately, waiting for the enemy to use their control skills before moving in. In a 1v1 situation, Ukyo needs to stay at a distance from his opponent to maximize his damage output. His abilities are designed to deal high burst damage from a distance, so he needs to maintain his range to avoid getting caught in the opponent's attacks. Once the opportunity arises, 
Ukyo can use his first skill to rush into the enemy's back row and deal heavy damage to their ranged attackers. With his high mobility and powerful attacks, Ukyo can quickly turn the tide of a battle in his team's favor. For the items of Ukyo Tachibana, these are the core items. Axe of Torment and Siege Breaker are very important item for the burst damage output. Rest of the items of the build are situational. You can use Spike Mail and Star Breaker to complete the build. You can replace other items if you don't want to use Spike Mail. For the Arcana, you can use 10 Stealth, 10 Eagle Eye, 9 Mutation, and 1 Red Moon. Pros and cons are a way of summarizing the advantages and disadvantages of something in a simple and concise manner. Pros list the positive aspects, while cons highlight the negative aspects. Let's talk about the pros of Ukyo. High Burst Damage Ukyo's abilities are designed to deal high burst damage to his enemies, making him a formidable force in team fights. High Mobility With his abilities that allow him to quickly move around the battlefield, Ukyo can easily outmaneuver his opponents and dodge incoming attacks. Lifesteal Ukyo's ultimate skill allows him to recover health for every enemy hero hit, making him a bit more sustainable in fights. Strong in 1v1 situations, Ukyo's abilities are particularly effective in 1v1 situations, allowing him to quickly deal damage and retreat before his opponent can counterattack. Now let's talk about the cons. Squishy. Ukyo is a relatively squishy hero, which means that he can be quickly taken down if caught off guard. Vulnerable to crowd control. Since Ukyo relies heavily on his mobility to avoid attacks, he is particularly vulnerable to crowd control effects that can slow him down or stun him. High skill ceiling. Ukyo's abilities require precise timing and positioning to be effective, so he may take some time to master for inexperienced players. Requires good team support. Since Ukyo is a high damage hero, he requires good team support to keep him alive and help him deal damage. Without proper support, he may struggle to make an impact in team fights. Bad at late game. Ukyo is great at early to mid stage of the game, but when the game reaches late stage, his effectiveness falls off very quick. That's the reason he does not appear often in tournament matches. Ukyo Tachibana is the perfect hero for players who love speed and precision. With his lightning fast sword strikes and incredible mobility, he can dash in and out of combat with ease. His abilities deal high damage, making him a formidable opponent in any battle. Ukyo is not for the passive players, however, as his playstyle requires quick reflexes and a sharp mind. If you're up for the challenge, Ukyo Tachibana is the hero for you. So what do you think about Ukyo? Is he worth mastering? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. And as always, thank you for watching. Oh.